Student loan debt continues to increase and more than half of college students say they can no longer afford their tuition costs. That's according to a study by one class. However, a first year college student from Fort Oglethorpe is taking a different approach to paying for her tuition. Newsville's Brian Armstrong has her story. I'm not necessarily sticking myself with just immigration work, but that's what I'm really feeling a lot of passion for right now. Isis Cantrell is a first generation college student from Fort Oglethorpe. She has been accepted to Bernard College of Columbia University. Despite earning some scholarships, the problem now is paying for it. She comes from a low income family whose mom lost her job during the COVID-19 pandemic. My mom lost her job. My dad actually got it and was out of work for two weeks. And so it was just a lot happening at once. And our family had never really had the opportunity to actually amass savings. So we were in a bad position to begin with COVID hit. And so we were just like, we have to have some help. We can't do this by ourselves. Cantrell turned to GoFundMe to raise money so she can pay for her dream of going to college instead of taking out a ton of student debt. Willing to take them out. I just want to take out as little as possible because my intention is to go to law school, get my law degree, and do as much pro bono work as I can and just give back as much as possible. And obviously when you have crushing debt, you kind of have to avoid that route and take some jobs you don't necessarily want to. She has almost reached her goal, but isn't quite there yet. We raised almost 12,000, which is really, really awesome. Our goal for the first year was 19K, that would cover everything. But for now, I'm able to attend my first year, which is super awesome and I'm incredibly grateful for. Like I straight up could not have done it without GoFundMe and the community around me. Uh, but yeah, so we're still worried about the following years, but I have hope. Brian Armstrong, News 12 Now.